So this example is about the electromagnetic waves. Now, so it's asking us we we have a remote control. What kind of electromagnetic wave it is? Yes, it's a infrared radiation. Now, so this is a very common, typical question. Okay, I have an apparatus. Then, what kind of electromagnetic waves involves? And also to suggest more application. Or that particular electromagnetic waves. Okay, so infrared can be also be used for cooking, autofocus, and the infrared viewer. And so the part B. Okay, there's two more electromagnetic wave we can observe here from the TV set. Okay, then from the TV set. Okay, because when it works, it will give some warm. Okay, because of the heat loss, then it is a kind of infrared radiation. And because this is a TV, so we must able to observe the visible light. And now, what is the electromagnetic spectrum that we use for transmission of signal? Yes, it's the radio waves. Now, so all these facts that you should have the idea. Okay, so that when someone asking you, okay, what is the function of this kind of EM wave? And if we I want to solve this function, then which EM wave it should be? This is. What we have to know, and for the calculation, it's quite straightforward. Usually, speed is equal to distance over time. Okay, like this. So if we have the calculation, it's straightforward. Now let's see another calculation. Now this one is more typical, and actually we have seen it before when we talk about the sound wave. When we talk about the sonar, here is talking about the radar. Okay, so we know that the radar pulse is bounced back from the aircraft. After fifty microsecond, okay, so fifty times ten to the power negative six second, or it calculate the distance between the aircraft and the radar station. Now, let me draw the radar station and the aircraft here. So we have a signal sent out, and then it hit the aircraft and come back. Okay, so we want to find the distance between them, which is a d. Okay, so we have to do speed equal to distance over time. Why the distance is two d instead of one d? Why should it be two D? Okay. Once again, because the signal is traveled from the radar to the craft and bounces back to the radar, so it is two D. Okay. So make sure when you do this kind of calculation, you won't get it wrong at this point. Okay. Then why the microwave cannot be used to measure the depth of the sea? Actually, we have asked this before when we talk about the sauna. Because the water molecule in the sea will absorb the energy, okay, from the microwaves. Now the microwave is easily absorbed by the water, so it can't travel far. That's why we can use it in the sea. That's why we have to use the sonar for measuring the distance inside the sea. Okay, so this is the idea of it. So in the air we have radar, and in the sea we have the sonar. Now let me ask you one more question: Can the radar work in space? Can the radar work in space? Is it work better or work not that good? Now the answer is, it will even work more better in space because there is no air. That means nothing absorb it. Is it true? Okay, so in this ID concept is true. So one kind of special aircraft have a fat area at the bottom. Now we so call the slith bomba. Okay, how does it work? Okay, can you imagine if the bottom is flat, then the reflected pulse will be reflected to the other side. Okay, instead of bounces back to the radar. Okay, so this is one of the design for the. Military aircraft, okay, in order to prevent the detection by the radar. Okay, so this is the idea.